As you already know, oxytocin plays a crucial role when it comes to labor, right? Because it stimulates uterine muscles, which helps with contractions and thus keeps labor progressing. Now, what epidurals do is they block nerve signals from your lower body to the brain. And um, the positive effect of that is obviously that it reduces the pain that you feel. The problem is, though, that that nerve blockade may also disrupt the normal feedback loop between uterus and brain, uh, which may lead to a lower release of oxytocin. But again, the problem is that during labor, it's mostly oxytocin that keeps labor progressing, right? And so if, if less oxytocin is released, it may slow contractions down or just make them weaker. And weaker contractions means less power to push your baby further down in your pelvis. And as a result, it also means less pressure from your baby's head on your cervix. And because of that, it's not a surprise that women who have an epidural often need a shot of synthetic oxytocin to keep labor progressing.